Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, if you haven't seen the performance for this, go and check it out, and then come back and see what all this is actually about. Them that have seen the performance know what they're in. Yeah. There is a setup. You get all your picture cards, your tennis jack screens, every, a royal flush. Get the royal flush out in every suit, right? And then get your spades and your hearts, and mix them together. A spade and a heart, 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 a spade and a heart. Right? Shoo. Get in. Then pick up your clubs and your diamonds. And on the top of your heart, you put a club. Followed by a diamond and a club and 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 a diamond. These then go on top of your packet. You can do false cuts, false shuffles, as long as you don't disturb them top 20 cards or so on your pack, right? But you can do, and you do need to do, a riffle shuffle. Break off just under just under half of the pack, so you're very close to the likes of your big stack. And then you riffle shuffle them in together. It does nothing to the order. It just puts more cards in between and it makes it look a bit more realistic. You then say that you're going to use um, the tennis jacks, queens, kings and aces out of the packet. So you can spread it on the table. And you go through, pushing the cards away. And every time you pick one of them up, you put it face down in your hand. And people won't get onto it. That you're taking only clubs and diamonds to start with. Don't think... Be worried over it or make a big issue over it. Because half the time, as you're moving cards, they're going to cover others. And they're seeing other cards in between the ones which you're picking up. Right? It's like they've just seen a diamond and I'm picking a spade up. They've seen a spade and a heart and I'm picking a heart up. Um, quite a few cards and there's the ace that I'm picking up. And then I'm picking a ten. And finally I'm picking a jack. And... Um, I missed a ten of club. You just didn't tell me, did you? You seen that? You didn't tell me where was he supposed to go? He was supposed to go in there. You didn't tell me, did you? You seen that happening? That trick would not have worked. Believe me, it wouldn't have worked. No, if I was one card wrong, that would not have worked. Right. So you took the cards out of the packet, turn them over, give them a quick fan, quick little flash. Keep the hand on a bit of a move so they don't get to see too much besides red next to blacks and blacks next to reds and then you close it up. Then you need to deal two piles you do or you could do one of them if you wanted to but sometimes that looks a bit too obvious and fishy. Mm. Or yeah so you deal two piles down. And you pick the second pile up and put it on top of the first pile and everything is now set. You've got all the cards set up, all ready. Five diamonds, five hearts, your five clubs and then your five spades. Right? Remember the order. Diamond hearts, club, spades. Diamond hearts, club, spades. Diamond hearts, club, spades. Now, you can, if you want, when you get your hands underneath there, very quickly, if you can do it very very quickly you can't riffle off one two one two three four five cards get a pinky break then you do another five one two three four five and throw your ring finger in then do another five five and get your middle finger in so you end up with a nasty looking thing like that yeah a bit like a multi-story car park where the top layer is collapsed. Yeah. Then, as I say, you've got your hand underneath your scarf while you do that. If you don't want to do that, you, it means you've got to do quite a bit of counting so to slow you down a bit. Right? Um, you could always work out which is going to be your bottom cards on these, this packet and this packet and this packet. Find out, work out what your bottom cards are going to be and put a crimp on the bottom card. Make it a bit easier for you to get in your break, right? But you need to be able to get to the cards when you need to get to them. You ask them to pick a suit. They say clubs. You know clubs is the second to bottom package. So you just go in there, pull that out, bring your hand out and spread it. That quick. 
they say diamonds, diamonds is the top on hand in, pull the top packer out, spread it, that quick. They say spades, hand in, bottom packer out, spread it, that quick. If you got the brakes. You have diamonds, clubs, spades. If, as I said, you want to count them, um, as soon as you get your hand underneath, push five cards off and try and pull five cards from the bottom. Right? That's if you can do that. Then when they say whatever one they want, um, go for a difficult one. They want clubs, it's the second to bottom. You then quickly go one, one, two, um, one, two, three, four, five cards off the bottom. Up to jog them. Push these in. Keep your brakes. Pull them out. And there's the clubs. It is a bit slower. But that then leaves you with three brakes. So you struggle on the first one only. Then they say they want the next one. They want hearts. Well, you know hearts is down in the middle. So your hand just goes straight in and pulls out the middle one. Now you know you've got diamonds with spades on the bottom. They want diamonds this time. You pull that out and then you can pull that out. Just a, just two different ways of handling that end piece, whichever feels most comfortable for you. As I say, you can work out which is going to be the bottom card and put a crimp in it. So when it comes to it, you got you can feel the crimp underneath and you can feel where it is on the top. So you'll be able to get your nail in on the top one as your finger goes in and you pull but you should know how that works anyway right thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it even though i just rattled for a little bit and um, i'll see you again soon